Hello, Matt here. Welcome to Wandering Upward. Today I want to show you uh, the solar system that Craig Hepburn has here on his homestead. And this, this solar system is just simply to, to run the pump. Um, he has a uh, pump system and a 1500 gallon cistern on the, on the very end of the property, straight this way, that he uses to store up the water. Um, this solar system uses no battery. Um, it's direct uh, solar to um, a DC pump that drops down into the well here. And this well, I can't take the cap off right now, but this, uh, this four inch well that you see is just a hollow steel tube that goes down about 30 feet. And the, the solar pump is just a submersible pump that drops, it drops down into the well and it sits in, in uh, standing water and it pumps the water out. Um, the, the panel here is on a tracking system that has no electronic parts or anything of that sort. It just uses a couple tubes that have Freon inside them and there's actually no moving parts either. It uses these re reflective panels so depending on where the sun is at, um, one, or the, one of the tubes will get more uh, heat transfer than the other and it will evaporate the liquid over to the opposite side and turn the panel towards the direction of the sun. And he's had this system here for 18 years and he said he hasn't had any problems with that tracking device. He said he's had to replace the submersible pump a couple times, but it's a standard, a standard uh, a submersible, submersible, submersible solar pump that um, that you can get, I guess, probably from any catalog or probably even some some tractor supply store or something. So, um, I mean, it's pretty rickety looking at this point, but. I mean, he said he's had no problems with it, and and you know it does the job. It fills up the the tank, and it meets the needs of of this five acres. So it's definitely a viable a viable solution for for living off grid. Um, relatively low input cost. That I really see the tractor as being unnecessary. It's a nice luxury. Um, to optimize the amount of sun that you that you get to uh, utilize, but it's it's by no means necessary. So you could really do it without that. And he just comes out and whenever it's a sunny day, he turns the pump on, and it fills tops off the cistern, and then he uh, he turns the pump back off, and and the power just sits there. And so I'm sure you could also do something like put a like a charging station on it to charge different things because it's having plenty of unutilized time when the when the pump's not being run these these solar panels are really they're really not doing anything so i'm sure you could also rig something up to it to where you're utilizing the rest of that power so just uh just wanted to to point this this cool uh cool little option out here um thanks for joining and i'll keep you guys informed on all the other uh neat stuff that i find while i'm out here see ya